ladies. Hey, congratulations for stop and go. Hey, thank you. <laughs> I guess I, w I was going to ask you where the original idea came from, but I guess we all lived it. So, uh, <laughs> <but>. <laughs> so, so, I, so I guess the better question is, at which point you knew you're going to make a pandemic film and before mm. everyone else? Because if obviously there's going to be a ton of these films. 100%. Um, well, we, we had, it was about three months into the pandemic. It was like end of June. We started talking about, is there anything we can make right now? Just because we'd never made a feature before. Is there anything that we can do just to keep ourselves busy? Maybe we could learn how to make a feature during this weird vacuum time where no work is coming in and we're just spinning our wheels. Um, and so we got talking about possibly doing a road trip idea because Wit had been, had this road trip concept she had been thinking about for a couple of years, but it was totally different. It was like two sisters sort of evading the law. It was a little bit more of a Thelma and Louise kind of thing. And um, we sat down one day, uh, in person masked distance in her backyard to get talking about a possible you know, road trip, something that we could make right now. And we came up with the idea of a rescue mission for the grandma. And once that happened, we were like, oh, okay. So it's a COVID movie, mm -hmm. which means we got to make this thing now, <laughs> now. Cause we had zero concept for how much content like this would exist and how fast it was all going to happen. And we didn't even really know where our idea would fit in the scheme of COVID content at large. I mean, it was so scary, but we decided it would be better to like hightail it and just get something made than to wait around and then try and submit the film in like festivals in a year or something like that. We just decided, let's just do this thing. What else are we doing, you know? <laughs> found the uh, deadlines for some festivals for Sundance. Uh, she found them and was like, hey, we were two days in. I think we'd outlined it yeah. and said, hey, uh, October 2nd is the late deadline. Can <laughs> we do this? And we both were like, holy crap. Uh, I guess if it works, if it works itself out, then yeah, we're going to do this. And it just like, I mean, we, we were able to write the script in two weeks uh, we filmed it in two weeks and we got a first cut out in two weeks. So uh, yeah, we were, we were able to barely make it by the Sundance deadline. And then that opened up all these festivals for us. So I, I'm glad we did it that quick. I never want to do it again, but uh, yeah, it was kind of um, the, the necessary path and it just ended up also being about COVID. Yeah. And the, the pact that we made, early on was like, if we're going so fast that we're ruining it, let's stop. Yeah. And we just kind of never quite got there. We were, we were <laughs> just like by the skin of our teeth the whole time. Like we might finish this maybe one more day. Maybe we can get through it. It was a, uh, it was crazy. It was extremely hard. <laughs> what, what, was it difficult to find comedy in such a, you know, a pandemic is such mm -hmm. a serious topic for some people. And especially, you know, you, you've, you two made a few death jokes along the way. Yes. Yes. It's, yeah, by its nature, it's, it's a dark comedy for sure. I think um, it was the comedy that we were kind of hungry for, you know, at the time, everything, um, like, gosh, I think both of us were just deeply depressed and had a lot of anxieties going on, those jokes. I don't know that it was hard to find because I think anytime someone is going through just something so extremely heavy, you really are almost looking for that relief valve of just like, can we relieve pressure somewhere in our lives to just be able to laugh, to be able to have something to hold on to that isn't just pressing down on us. Um, so that's what we kind of gravitated to is like, well, this is kind of what everyone's experiencing. And I hope everyone finds that relief that we found to make it. Most, most, most excellent. And you two are really best friends since like childhood. So th this made it everything all easy. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was actually one of the main reasons I think we approached each other to, to 
work on something or anything was because like, hey, we know we have chemistry, that we love working together, that we know how to write together. We've written a bunch of bunch of different things together. We've done web series together and sketches together and long form sketches together for a really long time. So it was definitely sort of a safe place for us to create during this pandemic. Most excellent. Well, one more thing before I let you go. Well, it's actually just mainly for Whitney is how are you going to dye your hair now? <laughs> it can be done. I've seen plenty of, uh, anytime you look up shaved heads on Google, it's always like celebrities who have ended up like bleaching it or dyeing it green. It's possible, man, but is it worth it? It's going to, it's going to get shaved off in like a week. So, I mean, it will just probably be natural for now, but it's extreme <laughs> enough, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> most excellent well ladies hey congratulations for stop and go hey thank you very much uh, for speaking to us about this uh, wonderful film thank you thank you so much appreciate you bye now thanks gig thank you